Hello, I'm Pastor Jeff from Lutheran Church, The Resurrection, here in Marion. We are in the middle of our Lenten devotion, where we're looking at the Gospel of Luke and the Acts of the Apostles. Today, we are in Luke chapter 4. So this is the fifth of our uh, readings. It's for February the 21st, uh, our Sunday reading. Um, here in this part of, of Luke, we get, again, the Holy Spirit. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, the, the reading started off, Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan, was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. This is, is really uh, something that Luke is telling us, that full of the Spirit, now the Spirit leads Jesus into the wilderness, into temptation, which goes against even the prayer, right? Lead us not into temptation. But the Spirit led Jesus there. Why? Because Jesus is going to do, remember the genealogy? Uh, Jesus is going to do what Adam was unable to do. Jesus is not going to fall into temptation. Jesus is, in a sense, the new Adam, the new creation that God has brought to restore and redeem us all. Well, after the story of the temptation, uh, Jesus begins his ministry and uh, it is uh, always heartwarming to every preacher that Jesus' first sermon led to the people of his hometown wanting to throw him off a cliff and kill him. Now, you might say, no, no, pastor. They just wanted to kind of push him off out of the way. If you go to Nazareth, it's built on sheer cliffs. And when you go there, you realize to push him off of the hill upon which Nazareth is built is to put him to death. Luke is trying to help us understand something here. That Jesus' message is not going to be universally accepted, even by his own people, even by those closest people in his own hometown. They're going to be angry by his words. What are the words that anger them? His suggestion that God is concerned not just with them, but with even those foreigners who are outside of God's people. Then, of course, uh, we move into the, the healing in Simon's house uh, with his mother-in-law, and Jesus preaching in the synagogues. So the story has now begun. The prelude is over. The birth, the temptation, now Jesus is involved in ministry, and the Holy Spirit is being let loose everywhere that Jesus teaches the people. God bless you.